All right. SHOT Show 2024, Spider Co. We couldn't miss them, right? Yes, exactly. Hey there. Hello. We know you. We're talking Spider Co's. Real quick, yes. how many Spider Co knives do you, do you think we have in our collection? At least 100. No. Yes. We've had 100 over the years. I think at least 100. Anyway. Now we're going to have to count them at home. This is Ed Shimp. Yes. Okay. Ed, how long have you been with Spider Co? It's pushing 25 years now. Yeah. Uh, and that's a few knives. That's a really good range, a really popular range of designs and knives. Yeah. Yes. All right. And Ed, this is one of your most popular designs right here. This is the last dis discontinued mm -hmm. model. Now discontinued, okay. Do yeah. you carry this knife every single day? I do. Yeah. And what's the name, just so everybody knows? It's the Shemp Bowie. The Shemp Bowie, yep, yep. All right. Well, uh, we were going to show. Ow. Here, I can pan over a little bit, no, right? No, you can't pan over there. This Don't stuff, even pan. This stuff over here, no, there's all right. Nothing over there. A lot of good stuff in there. No photos, please. Yes, no exactly. photos or videos. There's some but good stuff in the works. Maybe some more yeah. shimp design works. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hint at that. Yeah. Well, what can we talk about? What? How old is this particular knife? Uh, it's a few years old. Yeah. It looks I, like it's a little worn too. I I use it. Yeah. Uh, well, tell us about the design. You were just talking to us about it. So say say why you've made it the way that you've made well, it. Well, I, I prefer, I call it a negative blade angle. Yeah. Because when I hold the knife, it puts the edge in line with my forearm. And therefore, I don't have to use my wrist to get it square to make a cut. It's, it's going to purchase the yeah. material and not having to use my wrist my grip doesn't tire. Oh yeah, exactly. The other thing is, if I go into a reverse grip with it, it's 90 degrees. How many times have you had to use that reverse Never. grip? Never. Okay. The That's reverse good. grip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. probably good. <laughs> but you could. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just style, which I love the style. It's, it's actually got purpose and function exactly. to it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I just love it. It's just always been so classy of a knife with the carbon fiber and then the bolster. Yeah. It's so pretty. I wish we could show more, but we can't. No. Not right now. Nope. Okay. Well, I got a question for you, Ed. Sure. What is your favorite spider comb that's not yours, that's not your design? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I like uh, the paramilitary two and three. Very yeah. popular, absolutely. Because yeah. the, the lock mechanism, the size. You know, the, there's one for each condition. If you're in a wilderness situation, the paramilitary two yeah. is very effective. If you're in an urban area, the paramilitary three is large enough to handle most tasks. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a great knife. I sure. do like it's the one of compression. My yeah. yeah, the compression lock. We have two or three of the paramilitary knives. Yeah. Uh, a couple of ours we have white scales on. Yes, we do. Yeah, we yeah. were just showing that on Instagram. Yeah, yeah All right. exactly. Well, that's great. Any others that, uh, that I mean, there's so many with Spyderco. What else do you like? Well, the, the Shaman, which is fairly new. Oh, yeah. And, and available. Yeah. The Mannix 2. Yep. The military has been redesigned to have a compression lock. Oh, yeah. And okay. I, I do like the compression lock. Yeah. So, you mentioned the Mannix. The Mannix 2 Lightweight yes. has been my favorite model yes. for years now. Uh -huh. uh, I like a lot of spider coats, but I always go back to the Mannix 2 Lightweight. Yes, and that's a good segue because they said that they're going to release a Mannix 2 Lightweight in the Salt series. In the Salt line. The Magna Cut. So what yeah. can you tell us about Magna Cut? Well, yeah, we're using, because mm -hmm. before it was H1. Yeah. Well, Magna Cut has been a steel that's kind of rocked the cutlery world. Right, yeah. Absolutely. The, the testing on it, uh, Spyderco, when they did their QFOG test, they found out that it was extremely corrosion resistant. Okay, yeah. So it actually qualified for the salt series because of the corrosion resistance. But when you look at the numbers, um, most of the time with steels, it's always a trade-off. Right. You know, right. toughness versus hardness versus durability. Absolutely. Uh, edge holding. Magna Cut has moved the balance point forward on all factors. That's great. So yeah. it, it's really the new hot steel. It's premium. It's not the cheapest, is it? No, it's a powder metallurgy steel. Yep. And, 
Uh, also, the young man that, that designed it, I've known Laren Thomas, or Dr. Thomas. He's since, a doctor? Since, yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> doctor of philosophy. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. gotcha. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I've known Laren since he was 10 years old. His yes. dad and I are friends. Devin Thomas is a brilliant man. Laren's dad. Laren is brilliant. Um, I remember when he was 12 or 13, Devin brought him to the Blade Show. Mm -hmm. And I cautioned him on his post uh, on the forum. I said, Laren, one thing I'd really like you to be careful of is not to be con condescending to knife makers because this is their livelihood. Right, yeah. I said, you're already smarter than 90% of the <laughs> knife makers out there. That but, is true. You yeah. know, I, I, it's their livelihood. I don't want them to be offended by you and try to harm you in any way. So just for your own, you know, appearance in the industry, I think it would behoove you just to be careful yeah. what you say on, on the forum post. And his dad says, Laren, pay attention. <laughs> and and Laren pays very close attention to his dad. But because they had such in-depth uh, cutlery conversations, metallurgy, metallurgy conversations, Laren developed a deep interest in metallurgy. Yeah. <clears throat> Years ago, Devin and I participated with a group of uh, about 30 knife makers at a hammer-in uh, hosted by Bob Kramer oh, up okay. in Bellingham. Bellingham? And it was... That's where we're from. I'm from. Bellingham. All right. Yes. We were just there. <laughs> well, Bob lived in Olympia for okay, quite a while, yeah. but he's moved back to Bellingham. Right. Okay. So, All right. Yep. Anyway, Dr. John Verhoeven came out and presented his uh, rough draft of a book, uh, Metallurgy for Bladesmiths. Okay. And Devin and I showed up with quite a list of questions that we had, you know, that, and, and Devin and I had talked you know, previous to this. So anyway, we, we had a, a bit of a relationship with, with John. And Laren, after he graduated and got his AA degree there in Panaka, Nevada, he wanted to go into metallurgy. So his dad says, well, call John. Get a recommendation of the best metallurgy school. And John said, Colorado School of Mines. Okay. So... Laren applied. Yeah, he was a 4.0 student. Yeah. He got accepted. He got I would a, hope he got accepted with a 4.0. Right, yeah. right. He, yeah. He got an undergraduate degree from Colorado School of Mines. He got a scholarship. He got a master's degree. He got a scholarship. And he got his doctoral thesis wow, done. Wow, yeah. He's currently working for the United States Steel uh, on dual face metals for the uh, automotive industry. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. So in his spare time, <laughs> he does cutlery metal art. Yeah. yeah, wow. And with uh, <laughs> his website, Knife Steel Nerds. Right. Yep, 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 we're and, familiar. And yep. also A lot of our audience is going to be familiar as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His, his Patreon uh, subscribers, which I've been one, I pay for every article, so I. I get an email oh, to me yes. before it comes out. And yeah. Laren has got a good way of speaking to the layman. I'm not a metallurgist. I've yeah. always had an interest in it, but it's really nice when you can visit with somebody like Laren who knows this stuff, who studied it, who has an in-depth knowledge about it to where he can discuss it with a layman. Yeah. And so, then he's gonna he's gonna apply all this to knives, to yeah. knife steels. Yeah, exactly. This, this yeah. is strictly for cutlery. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And you know he's he's a great resource, probably one of the best resources the cutlery industry has got in a long time. Yeah. And he's published two books, one knife engineering, which is exceptional, and he's he's talked with other people in the knife engineering world. Uh, Roman Landes, who does a lot of work on edge geometry. Some people say you ripped off Roman. Well, Roman helped Laren yeah. and did some proofreading for him on his first book, just to make sure that... Uh, Everything was good? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, he's tried his best to get the best information out there. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And, and it's really helped. 
Well, and it's made such a big dent into the, the knife an industry. impact a dent? It's, yes, well, it's been so crazy. The steel itself is not going to dent, is it? No, yeah, no, not right? at all. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the steel is some of the best that's come down the pipeline yeah, yeah. in a long time. Yeah, it's so um, impressive that he came up with it. Yeah. yeah, we did think it was interesting. Is the entire salt line, is that now magna cut? Or? No. Okay. No, yeah. but there's, okay. A, there's going to be a shift to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. H1 evolved, and now it's H2. LC 200N is uh -huh. another uh, yep. nitrogen type steel yeah. that right. is very high performance. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe the LC 200N has a little better cutting performance okay. than the H1 and H2, but MagnaCut is even better. Yeah. Wow. So it, yeah, we thought that was impressive that MagnaCut is replacing H1 yeah. for those type of applications. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, so it's just such a high-performance steel. I guess so. Hydroco, it's always been a goal to use the best available. Yeah. Yeah. Which is just a short aside, mm -hmm. is when I walk into this room with these people that are working at this booth, yeah. I feel like I'm on the A-team. <laughs> yeah. Because everybody nice. here has got a higher level of knowledge than the average booth employee uh, they're uh, all, around this room. They're all pros. They're, yeah. they're pros, all pros, yeah. Huge amount of experience, a great amount of knowledge of the product line. So yeah. it's really an honor to yeah. hang with Be this part group. Of it. Yeah. 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 You're one of them, too. Remember that. You're one of them. Well, <laughs> I think he knows. I'm happy <laughs> about it. Yeah, exactly. It's a great place to be. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, this is one great. thing that I learned recently about Ed, he has dragon tattoos. Oh, I don't think we can show him. We thought he was joking. I wish you would show him on He's got dragon that. tattoos yeah. on, on the shoulder. Oh, geez. Okay. No, we can't show that, that here, awesome. right? <laughs> no, that was, that Maybe was funny. Maybe he's doing a full back tattoo. Uh, yeah. Tattoo. This guy's hilarious. We love talking to him. All right. Well, that's yeah. just, uh, we could probably talk to you for hours. Exactly. But yeah. we got to let you get back to work. Mm -hmm. I'm still, I'm going to pan over there. No, just pan up. I can't show it. I can't show it. Those no, those three cases. There's some new stuff. We can probably show some of the new stuff over there. In the yeah. Cases. Oh yeah. There's a lot to look at. Yeah. But, but no, this was it's great. Exciting. So. Thank you, Ed. New yeah. stuff from Spider Co. coming out. Yeah. Well, and we were just talking to you. We did a warranty sort of test for Spider Co. Yep. We've been, you know, we've had, we've owned them for years and years, and we finally had one issue, and we did the test for Spider Co. Yep. You know, we. Um, before and after like we sent it in and, it, and then we received it back and it was yep. just no questions asked they fixed it up yeah, and perfect. it was it was great yeah well, and our audience loved that she's not here but Charlene is the warranty and repair lady for spider Co. yeah and she really knows her job yeah you know she she's gonna bend over backwards to keep the customer happy yeah but yeah. don't try and deceive her because she doesn't put up with any nonsense okay yeah, okay right. yeah. she, she's a a great person and you know i have a lot of personal respect for him as well well no that was that was very popular with our audience and with us of course yeah and yeah first issue we've had with the spider co in a long time yeah it was one of the italian knives but yeah yep. all right no that's good we'll, yep. we'll call that good yeah thank you so much Ed. spider co 2024 the brand is going strong. Yep. Our, a lot of our audience loves it. All right. Exactly. Thank you, Ed. You're welcome. Yep, we'll you. talk to you later. Thank probably you. We'll talk to you at uh, Blade Show, probably. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sounds All right. Good. Thank you. Bye.